Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the run of Hamza, Chosen of the Bella, who has now finally ventured <coughs> to the Deep Wood Redoubt in order to claim one more bounty. And <coughs> in today's episode, we're actually going to go into a couple of undead dungeons, I decided, because I think we're strong enough, almost strong enough, to pull it off. With that, we should be able to then also get our first shout. I have around 4,000, 4,500 gold pieces stashed in White Rim, uh, just so that we do have enough carry capacity this time. So the idea is to basically uh, get our shout up uh, i mentioned that he's not the dragonborn but he can learn one shout and one shout only uh, if he spends 2500 5000 and 10000 gold pieces in order to do that disarm is going to be the name of the game and i just want to include that in the build other than that chime to hit deep wood readout okay I can sense a couple of draugers, and maybe we should have brought our silvery weapon. I should have seen that one coming. Yep, looks like draugers. Fantastic. I definitely should have brought my silvery weapon. They have poison. Good. Those two are enraged and will now fight each other. He, on the other hand, dies to our hands. Down. Insides. I think we missed one inside down here. And we need to let mana regen, uh, regen anyways. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so one of the archers is down, the other one almost down. We'll get to them in due time. Careful here with the runes. The ones on the ground floor. They are dangerous. I need something to trigger them. I wonder, is this here going to to trigger them? Yes. Nice. Grand Soul Gem. I'll take that. Good. I'll loot all of this here more intensely once we're through. For now, let's just focus on the Forsworn. Got the key. Theoretically got a bat if we wanted to get the well-rested bonus. That's a normal iron sword, and this here is a death trap. Very good. I promise you Ayla will mess it up and get herself killed. Apparently both of the Forsworn have killed one another with their poisons. <laughs> Funny how that is ironic. Close, close, close. Wow, I have not seen that one coming. 
Holy moly. I mean, I got him very well with the power attack, like, that worked out fantastic. And then it was already the kill animation, so he barely hit me twice. But that was enough to... essentially deal so much damage. And although it says it's only dealing uh, damage for five uh, seconds, it adds up. And I think they have skilled perks into more poison damage. Or have a blessing for more poison damage. Okay, given the Forsworn are here, let's prepare a little bit. Well, we got the Potion of Cleansings. I would say we're putting them in four. I just realized we can use them against the poison. And that'll take a lot of uh, their damage output away. Okay, this might look like it's not much, but there are many of them in there. I've done this uh, dungeon with my Archmage, and I hated every second of it. Mind you, I had 300 poison resist, and I still hated it because there were quite a few of them. They come one by one, but I do not mind using that to our advantage. Lots of insights here. Yep, we're out of combat, that's good. Fantastic, because it also means she heals. Yeah, don't be surprised about how easy they are going down. Horsworn are all offense, no defense. For every single one of them is a one-shot. Unfortunately, for every single one of them, you are almost a one-shot as well. A little bit cheesy that we used uh, Ayla to tank them. But it is what it is. Good. There were a couple more archers up here. For the first time in the history of playing with the companions, I am actually quite happy that Ayla is an archer. Normally she's not doing that hot with archery. Specifically with friendly fire. Alright, blocked it nicely, didn't get hit. I think we need to get another potato soup going. And whilst we're on it, how about uh, blur and healing aura? Okay, so far so good. I think uh, we got most of them on the outside. I'm not sure if there was a hack up there. 
Well, so much for getting most of them. I noticed with their attack speed, it's super difficult for, for me to just run away from them. But if I stagger them, and then use the time to uh, just do one power attack, that's enough to get them down. Fantastic loot. Really, really good loot. The only thing that's missing, which would be even better, would be a nice little war axe. There we go, that's the stagger. Should've hit him right away. Less talk, more hunt. Good. These are reasonably high level enemies as well. You can see they are dropping regular uh, potions always. Okay, cool. Well, scouted the entire camp. I'll do an intense looting afterwards. And for now, it's time to find the hack because every single Forest Worn tribe has a hack at the end of uh, their dungeon. That is Skyrim Lore 101. Did I just provoke them him to attack again? Although he already surrendered, well. I like that, but it's a one-handed weapon. Iron Battle Axe. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but it is not enchanted, really. I can do better than that. Adept, on the other hand, I can't open. Not even with a knock scroll. Okay, since we're facing a hack. Do a bit of a preparation. I'm assuming she's behind the door. We're going to eat Spellbane. And hope that that is going to be good enough. Alright, here we go. This should be good. Hey, Graven. Holy shit. Multiples. An entire coven. Well, that was surprisingly easy compared to what I would have expected, but we did have proper magic resistance. Remarkable potions, nice. That is very well uh, valuable for us. Surpassing would have been even better, but that's potentially asking for a bit too much. Great, cool. Well, 
Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. I can see what's going on. Well, it looks like there is still one. <laughs> Nasty trap room. Is A engaging at Graven here? Okay, this is potentially dangerous. We need the highest potion, remarkable. Here we go, come on. We kill the hag. Oh my gosh, I thought she went in. Should have never just gone in here. Luckily, we did enough damage to let her teleport away, so that's fine. It's not a fight that is over after one round. If I'm not mistaken, we need to go around and then come back, so yeah. Oh, of course. A spider. Fantastic. Good, let's wait out the poison. And given that we're completely dispelled, let's rebuff with food. Bit of shock resistance wouldn't hurt. Bit of resist fire wouldn't hurt. And a bit of resist frost, so that way we're covered with all of the elements. I'm maybe even going to eat that extra spellbane root again. Damn, I hate fighting against casters as a melee. As a caster, it's not a problem. It's actually quite fun. Yep, I remember we had quite a few traps in here. Well, these casts are so stupid, they should have never engaged in melee combat. Oh, and there she is, the hag. Down to almost no health. I don't know why she wasn't attacking. It's a bit of an odd script.
Good, can't open either of those. But as long as it's not this arm... No, we're not allowed to do that. Slow time, by the way, is a phenomenal shout. Still overpowered. It's still overpowered. It's just very, very good. Alright. Wow. But we still need to f fight against the Frost Throne. Holy! I was just loading in and she already started to massacre us. Bloodthorn. Oh, I like that one. Pretty decent dagger, unfortunately. We're not using daggers. But it is okay for us in order to get uh, soul gems filled. We might be using that. And we got a full-fledged dungeon. with a key to it. Well, whew. that was way more excitement than I was hoping for. But at the end, we got it done. Well, we're definitely taking that and that. So thanks to our remarkable uh, spell resistance of well we had a little bit more than that but 25 which is not bad for a beginning we actually did reasonably well good let me loot uh, the rest of uh, this uh, dungeon and then we're handing in our uh, our reward and I will look up uh, the dungeons for the disarm shouts all right all right we made our way all around Skyrim and finally got ourselves a couple of weapons number one we got lucky in the cleanup the key of the hack led to her master room and we got this bad boy here orcish battle axe of consuming not the best one. Orcish weapons are okay against low armor targets. Uh, consuming is okay. 14 hit points looks great on paper, but in reality, uh, it uh, I would potentially have preferred stamina regeneration. Uh, I also um, purchased this one here. Civil Iron Steel Battle Axe as we are going into a Draugr dungeon. But before we do that... Let's effectively use all of our uh, great resources to maybe level up again. So we wanted heavy armor on to 4T. And if I'm not mistaken, the other big milestone was uh, two-handed to 50. Are we going to do that or am I just trying to level? I think we're going with uh, two-handed 50 because we need to get that extra damage. We're still shy on the damage department. So the moment that two-handed uh, hits 50, we're fine. But until then, we're not. So, 37... Not bad. Good start and we even got a level up, which is okay. Still in Magicka because we need uh, that more than ever. So with two-handed 50 we could get Battle Axe Focus Part 2, which is good. That'll be even more damage currently. We're at plus 10 armor penetration 
and that would be plus 20 plus um, 15. We definitely wanted this here, Combat Trance. For easier spell casting. And we want a toxic nullification. What exactly wasn't that skilled? I was sure I've skilled it. Hmm. Strange. Okay, well, next perk, once we get that, would uh, move into toxic nullification. Which is 10% poison resistance if full su uh, suite of armor or set of armor is equipped. And additionally, plus 5% poison resistance for every set. So that in itself would be a solid 50% uh, poison uh, resistance increase super helpful for us and then elemental nullification once we hit 50 will be the same for resistances so heavy armor is important for us just to get uh, uh, just to get that survivability up in terms of medium planning for the build I want to get 200 weapon up to 50 uh, we leave heavy armor where it is currently, although that 50 perk here looks quite tasty, I must say. Uh, magic resist is great. We would potentially um, dabble with one point in enchanting to get the weapons, uh, the ability to recharge weapons. And I definitely need to get lock picking. That's even more important than enchanting. Enchanting is nice to have, but lock picking is mandatory. And I need to pay, pick an expert lock. Are you kidding me? I will need 90. Well, that needs to wait then. I love the Bella, but 90 and and getting this is a bit uh, a bit far fetched. Well, we could maybe try with one uh, perk in here so that we can at least start the lock picking, then fail, and then essentially are being let in. So maybe we'll we'll try that. The Debella quest uh, is our capstone for our uh, goddess. And that is, relatively speaking, easy. We could actually uh, do it right now. But I would need a perk in order to at least uh, get into the temple. Because in, in the temple of Dibella you need to get through an expert door. But you can fail it and still be caught. And then that would uh, be equally okay. Good. Anyways, next up, before we do that, I uh, put some money to the side in order to... Uh, essentially uh, get our shout, the disarm shout, and I also looked up where exactly we need to go. So let me travel there, and then we're going to do another dungeon delve. Of course, we're getting interrupted. couple of bandits nice we got thumb and wolf that's a decent find I think sparks is not that great But we were just minding our own business when this here happened. Okay, apparently no chest in this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, come on. Are you telling me we don't have enough health? We're full. All right, 
right. I wonder why that... Oh, now it's opening. Okay. All right. Back to the writing game. Good. We arrived and we are at Silverdrift Lair. The location of the Disarm Shout. Also the location of a couple of unwary bandits. Very nice. So bandits nowadays are not a problem anymore. Might as well drink that healing Paltris right away. And I think what we will do is, since we're very close to a level up, let's actually level up. We could use speech, we could use lockpicking. Both are good for our, uh, for our build. Um, we're okay with illusion. Let's go with lockpicking for now because we need to skill that anyways. But that should have brought us to a level up, right? Oh, so close. Well, we might be able to level up soon-ish. Certainly got a couple of spirit wolves that we can summon if need be. And we're already seeing Draugr's. Not a surprise. Alright, decent damage. Let's see, I think this here is a detour. No, that's the exit. Yeah, exactly. That's where we're getting out at the end. And this is where we must go in. I typically don't want to do that with a companion because it trivializes these fights. But after next mission, we're getting rid of her because then I think we're strong enough to do the other mission. Nice remarkable potion. And a fantastic two-handed increase. Good, I think we wanted to go for poison immunity for future fights. Very nice. To end it, definitely could use uh, one more. I like, I definitely like the build so far. And now that we can cast, you will see a few new tricks with uh, that. Down there. You drogers. Did she really just jump down? Alright, so much for the did she really just jump down? Good, I can hit her as well. But the idea of the build begins to shine through. Alright, cool. 
it works like a charm. Should open with, uh, potentially with a power attack, but the idea really is get them to sleep and then you see it, uh, the time to kill them right away. Okay. I think we can open that one real quick. Amulet of 4K, that's good. That's one of the doors uh, which simply won't open. Gotta be careful here to not just run in. This is another one of those traps. Huh? Hey, uh, please. Should have seen that one coming. Element of resilience. What are we dealing with? Disease resistance. We really need that. Potentially not, but it's a great enchantment to learn. Look, for now, I think we need to leave that one behind. I'll grab it when we're getting out. This is where we want to go, and if my memory served me well, there was a way of uh, opening and I think it was over here. A chain to pull or something along those lines. Good, so this one won't open. Pretty sure there was a chain. Let me search that. Oh yeah, here we go. Pull the handle. Get further. That works well, and we can even pull it off with multiple draugers. We just need enough mana regeneration because currently we're not doing particularly well in this department. Lots of traps in this dungeon. Adept can't open that. Quickly move uh, through. Well, so much for getting everybody to sleep. Fantastic. Nice. All right, the build is online, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Took a few levels and a lot of pain. But now we're doing just fine. Dwarven sort of debilitation. 
Oh, nice. Stamina damage. That indeed is quite good, but we just can't take it for now. We gotta do that afterwards with an increase in carry weight. And whilst we're at it... Might want to wake up. Nope. Okay, cool. I will need to do the dungeon by myself then. Careful, this looks like a trap up there. Well, no need to use that much mana for just one guy. Okay, hey, cool. Yeah, well again, this here looks a bit like it's trapped. The inter interesting part with uh, the archer dra uh, draugers is they never run away like normal archers would but draugers just simply stand their ground no fear no hesitation nothing I already hear the uh, uh, the shout in the background all right got to get some more mana We most certainly do not want to be disarmed. Take that one out. Get that one down. We have a poison of some sort. No, we don't. Fantastic. That was just wild. I love it. So, in terms of shouts, disarm. That's the only one that we can learn. We're not doing that by absorbing dragon souls, but by basically sacrificing gold. 2,500 for the first iteration. Nice. Stepping on the fire trap, on the other hand, not so nice. Hey, cool! Well, I stepped just on another one. Gotta wait until we are healed up. Hey, 
hate to chuck potions, but the fact that we can't rest at the moment tells me there might be another enemy. Oh, that might be trapped here as well. That one's open, and that one is good. We already know that enchantment. All right, I'll be running back through the dungeon, picking up the other stuff, selling, and uh, then we're going to learn our shout. So uh, wait for it. Here we go. Hey, so towards the end of today's episode, a couple of updates. I did some running. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to receive a shout without starting the Alduin quest line, which means we need to go to Bleak Fall Barrows. It's actually quite fun, so uh, that could be the test for him uh, to, uh, to, uh, to learn the determination and strength in order to actually shout. Instead of using the cannon where he's the Dragonborn, we're uh, refluffing it and we will imagine that he is just going to train and um, we'll need to retrieve a couple of old scrolls. But before we go to Bleak for Barrows, which we're going to do in the next episode, let's just see what else we need. I mean, we got uh, two-handed and heavy armor, both uh, theoretically uh, mm, trainable to 50 that would be uh, that would be uh, further milestones for us in terms of mage skills we're fine for now i like where the build is going with the illusion restoration could use a bit more but not really needed the others would just uh, be increases for our level we could increase speech to 25 and we could increase the uh, lock picking as far as uh, we can just to get some more levels I think for now that's what uh, we will be doing mainly because it is cheap to level them up at the beginning and overall the levels give us more stats and more magic resistance so in order to do the companion plus perks of course in order to do the companion quest line we need to be sufficiently leveled we can't just go in there as a level 10 character that uh, won't work so lock picking 25 wouldn't be bad either um how about smithing we already have that at 25 if i'm not mistaken yeah 26 even so it's maybe time that we're perking um, into that as well in terms of next skills overall or perks rather i think getting heavy armor and two-handed to 50 and putting perks in there will advance the character meaningful block is a nice dip for us but having more damage with battle axes and having that magic resistance will actually give us an edge in combat. Plus, Devastating Strike will substantially increase our damage output. So I'm almost thinking that once we're done with lock picking 25, we're actually pushing two-handed and heavy armor. In terms of perks, I'll think about putting one into lockpicking to do the Debella quest. Illusion is okay for now. I, I don't believe we need much more. Restoration could be a nice further dip, but not yet. Enchanting one and for smithing, I could uh, see that we go smithing into Nordic smithing. Tempered 60% more. We would need to get Art of the Nordic Blacksmith. And we would need to explore Solstein a bit more. But I think that would be a good outfit for our character. And that's just two perk points. One here, one there. Um... 
Yeah, I think Nordic smithing might be the way to go. This here is an easy end game uh, pick for uh, for anyone who is going light into smithing. But I think this character here could, with two perks, actually get everything that they need in smithing. So uh, one enchanting, two smithing, and maybe one in lock picking to get the Debella quest. Uh, everything else should be in two-handed plus heavy armor, because that's the core of the build. And as we progress, maybe at a later stage, then illusion. So we also got to be mindful. I already said four, five, six perks. So we, um, when we're going to go through the um, through the companions quest line, I don't believe that we're going to be much higher than level twenty, maybe at uh, at the end. Uh, we're doing quite well, and I'm happy how the run has uh, turned out so far. So next up, Bleak, for, uh, Bleak Falls Barrow, and potentially I should check in uh, Soulstein to see if the excavation has made any progress. I haven't received a letter yet, but I'm not sure if we receive one here whilst we're just chilling here. Enough time definitely has passed. Good. Let's uh, end today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy what you're seeing, uh, consider a like and a comment down below. Um, believe it or not, if you shout at the like button, Fusra Ro, uh, it'll actually uh, give uh, that nice little thumbs up symbol. All right, have a good one and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.